someone didn't know my work, um, I would probably describe it as gestural, calligraphic. Um, it has a uh, basis on abstract uh, expressionism. It is inspired by the city walls around the world, a dialogue that I think is a psychological dialogue that happens pretty much everywhere. It has traces with hieroglyphics and, uh, and just really basic human necessity to leave a mark behind. So anything is possible on a canvas that would actually happen on a city surface of every time. And um, the work is created with the idea that I'm not the only one marking on the surface. So it's the possibility that someone else, a passerby, left the mark behind. So the composition is created thinking that it's already there and that I have a taken a photograph of that place and so then I've repainted the soul of the place that I've walked through or experienced in my life. I guess, uh, that's, good, that's good, that's good. Um, I guess for me it's, uh, to simplify it, it's, uh, I'm a wallpaper man so uh, you know I do all kind of wallpaper uh, <laughs> from bathroom to kitchen like <laughs> <laughs> and then you know like 10 years ago I I get a promotion and I started hitting the streets. So like now I'm covering buildings and houses and uh, whatever whatever surface has texture, whatever surface haven't seen art before, and whatever context I could go to to explore, whatever city you would tell me not to go, whatever places people would say there's no place for art, uh, I guess it's worth trying. Okay, that's good. Um, just I, I was just. Talking on that, um, you know, I was just in Dubai the other day, and that's really a place where you can't ever see much un uncommissioned work. You can say about, you know, doing work in places like that. Have you ever thought about doing anything somewhere like that? But that's quite I, I guess um, uh, there's places where I, I went and where you know, you know, you don't necessarily have the right to do, and and sometimes you end up having trouble, like in China two years ago. But then at the end of the day, no, because no one expects you to climb a building and pay uh, in the middle of Shanghai, I actually did more than I thought there before they stopped me. Uh, so <laughs> it's actually more possible than we thought. Um, in Abu Dhabi, because I haven't in Dubai, we, we put a photo booth there so people would take their photos and then it would print a gigantic poster in the next five seconds. And I wanted to see what people would do with us. And, uh, they were pretty afraid there when we put that, that you know, people start pacing all over. It was not the case, I guess people fix their own limits. But then they go around their own low by holding the photo and photographing themselves, using social media to spread it, put it out of their window, maybe taking less risk because there is more, um, uh, you know, there would be more risk for them than, than uh, you know, simply being arrested. Okay, uh, back to the script then. Um, how, how did you start? Um, I was very young when I started making art, um, you know, as a kid I always loved drawing, but it wasn't until I was 9 or 10 years old that I, I remember telling my mother I wanted to be a painter. Um, I grew up in Puerto Rico, uh, and when I moved to Miami, it was the height of, it was 1983, it was the height of uh, hip-hop culture that had taken over, and um, so I actually started out by, by DJ, <coughs> by breakdancing. I was really into that, and um, I started painting with friends in the neighborhood just everywhere, and that developed at the same time as I was <coughs> with sketches and books and canvases, and I always did, you know, a mixture between <coughs> both those worlds, an experiment between writing and developing the form of, of the hand style, and that became known as more of a wild style, and, um, and you know, that really quickly went. By the time I was 15, I got a scholarship to study formal painting at the Savannah College of Art and Design. And um, I remember that at, at university, the professors always argued with me, saying to me that, no, this work belongs in the trash. You know, and uh, that made me very upset. And uh, so the, the, the challenge was to prove them wrong. And, uh, and it happened by chance that I ended up at the library of the school where they were showing a photography exhibition of, of Robert Rauschenberg, uh, black and white photos, and uh, there was a photo of a Taekwondo studio in Fulton Street, where he had um, tons of canvases in black and white 
script that looked like a chalkboard painting. Everyone's probably familiar with those. <coughs> and um, I used that information, and I researched more to arm myself to go and argue with my teacher. My question was, why did you tell me it was trash rather than tell me about these painters? And so the, that developed a respectful communication between, between my professor and I, and I kept experimenting between what was in the studio and outside in, in, in the street for many, many years. So there was a combination of painting trains, walls, trucks, and then in the studio bringing that element of the environment that I felt was a de deteriorating environment. Not only physical, that like when you see a wall that's deteriorating, but the aspect of neglect that's happening in certain neighborhoods, that was really interesting for me to bring into the canvas because what we were doing out outside was ephemeral, so it would disappear. It would only last through a photograph. So my idea was to sort of do a reverse, um, I guess, archaeological painting that then you could say something that was made by the, by the human hand in the studio. Um, that's, that's great, very interesting that you mentioned sites on as a, as a reference. That's almost going to lead to my next question about art historical references. But I'll, I guess I'll just ask you, uh, JR, that question about uh, which artists from the past have uh, influenced you, maybe, as you can start talking to us. Mm, uh, you know, it, it maybe sounds um, simple, but uh, uh, when I started writing my name in street, uh, not as pushed as, as Jose, because I, 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 I just stick from just writing my name, I never start to you know, lettering and stuff like that. Um, I, you know, I had no idea what was art, what was a museum, and that you could be an artist. Then I started taking photos and pasting them in the street, and I had no idea that there was big photographers, there was a whole world for it. So I was studying. No, I didn't study art, and uh, so, you know, it's, um, I, I've actually, you know, I had no idea I could make a book and show it to a gallery, I had no idea of that whole system, I had no idea you could sell a print, I was just doing it, and, uh, you know, I was still in high school, and <coughs> I was doing my thing, so, then I did little job on the side, and, and, and keep doing it, because I never thought, because I never studied photography, no one would ask me to, you know, to pay me to photograph an apple, or to photograph, uh, I don't know what, you know, I wouldn't know how to do it anyway. And uh, so I haven't had influences until I started looking at books and going, you know, to Virgin Megastore and like looking at the art section, which is the smallest you can imagine, and then seeing all the, you know, the big names you would get that on first, and then I, that's how I discovered the Cartier Bresson and, and, you know, the Euronis and the, uh, the photograph who photographed Paris a while ago. But at the same time, I, you know, I was in another generation, so I don't, I don't think I had the, I discovered all those catering and all those guys later on. And uh, of course, now I'm, I'm learning more every day about it. Is there anyone else that you want to add? Um, uh, well, uh, outside of the, the known names, there was there was a, a lot of um, there was a mentor system that existed in the 80s when I was painting, and uh, it was sort of a, uh, a rite of passage to be admitted into certain circles that came from the underground New York sort of world of writing that started out in the subway uh, mm -hmm. system, and there were writers like Kate Tu, who was um, a really enigmatic person because he had lost his <coughs> arm on his leg <coughs> by being electrocuted painting trains and no, nothing stopped him. He kept on painting, he became one of the best. He developed styles and he was one of my teachers in, in, the, in, you know, in the time that I was moving to New York and traveling between Miami and New York. And he's someone that is known, I think, in the underground, but that never became known um, you know, as much as like Keith Haring or John Michelle Aquet or say something like that. And, and aside from him, there's many, many other artists that belong to that world that um, were sort of uh, my mentors. And uh, and that system st started to slowly die down, obviously, because the world changed really rapidly and everything was on the internet, so everybody was you know, <coughs> learning really quickly from the internet. And, uh, and anyways, it opened doors for the kind of work that, that you know, we started <coughs> to experiment with and, and do. So, you know, like JR and I, although we had our own form of education of, of self-taught and, and a mentor system that came from the underground, we quickly adapted to the language of <coughs> um, understanding art from a, from a perspective of museums and gallery. So it took, it took a period of, of, you know, I don't know, 10, 15 years or something like that. But to shorten it up, the way that, that it happened was almost at the same time that everything else was happening. And so, it's, as far as names go, I don't think it matters as much as what was really happening in society, how society has changed throughout the time since we started. And we're 10 years apart, so we started 
you know, different points, but we met at a certain place in our lives that we, you know, interconnected uh, our styles together, and that we've been able to do the collaboration of what you're doing tonight in the film. Yeah. Um, 